So a few weeks ago, I spent an entire weekend going to a bunch of different yard sales looking for specifically for video games to flip for a profit. But if I came across some other stuff, I wasn't gonna look past it. I also ended up going to a flea market and one of the vendors there sold me a bunch of untested consoles for just $40. These actually weren't part of that whole deal. I got these in a different video game store buyout. If you guys are interested in seeing that video, it's honestly insane. But I got all the power cords and accessories that I needed, even the scuzzy protectors, because these things is scuzzy. And now the day is finally here where I got enough time to sit down and actually test these consoles, so let's do it. These two cameras were also part of that video game console bundle buyout thing that I did, and I bought these two chargers. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the batteries out and pop these on the charger and let them charge up while we test the other consoles. So in honor of me being an ex-PlayStation fanboy, we're gonna start off with the uh, PS3 and the light is on, so that's awesome already a good sign but let's see first let's see if there's anything in there. nothing in there okay all right now let's see if she turns on this thing is mm, nope all right playstation 3 number two the dude said he just saw he looked at it and was like ah it doesn't work and just sold it to me for super cheap so it's all plugged in um oh it doesn't oh okay the light does turn on Okay, good sign, good sign. Took a little bit though, so worrisome. Seems like there's a disc in there and it's turning on. What is this? Blockers? We got a DVD. Will we get some video? The screen went black, something's happening. Oh, you know what I think it might be? I think this thing might be set to, uh, it might be set to the AV cords. Let me plug in the AV and see if anything changes. I'll tell you one thing, this thing is making no noise whatsoever. Such a quiet purr. Nothing. No signal, huh? All right, time to check this PS2. I got this game, Xenosaga, which is a game that I'm currently playing, so I know that it works. This is a good game, by the way. A lot of cutscenes, a lot of anime cutscenes, but I'm into anime, so it works for me. Anyways, let's get this console tested, turn it on, and the light comes on immediately. That's really good. Let's see. Opens up. Oh, we got Final Fantasy 12. Oh, it, sh it closed. Oh, it turned on. Okay, wait a minute. G a lot of good, a lot of bad happening right now. We got a game. That's dope. This thing, it opened and it closed by itself. Are we just going to keep doing that? No. Okay. Oh, but wait, what happened to our video? Oh, we just got to, oh, okay. We just got a shaky AV cord. Okay. That's no problem. Now we have Xenosaga. Let's toss this in to see if this console works. Oh, yes, baby. Let's go. Working console. This already pays for the entire, I paid $40 for all the consoles. This pays for all of that. Let's go. All right, we got a PS2 number two, and this thing is considerably more scuzzy than the last one. So, and look at the, I don't know if y'all can really tell, but this is like not, this is like, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever, let's just turn it on. The light comes on immediately. That's good news. I, my, my hopes are not high for this one. No game inside. That's, oh my, the dust. Oh, it turns on, let's go. There is so much like dust and disgusto in there. I'm not, I don't know. Let's keep up the positivity. Hopefully we get a two out of two for the PS2. Oh my goodness, the bars though. Okay, that took a bit of time, but you know what? Better late than never. Oh yeah, I should uh, plug in the controller. Dude, what? Yo, for whatever reason, I can't plug in the controller. The controller's not going in. I don't exactly know what's going on. I can't seem to, I don't see a reason why the controller wouldn't be plugging in. Um, I, I honestly, I'm just gonna like poke around just to see, make sure there's nothing blocking the pens, but like, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of dust and scuzzy and disgusto in here. I ain't gonna lie, but like, I don't see anything that should be stopping a controller from plugging in. That's just weird. And it's like, it's the middle. It'll, it'll go here and it'll go here, but the center just will not give. That's so weird. All right, I'm gonna take a toothbrush to it. I don't know if this will work or not, but hopefully if I clean out some of the scuzzy that's up in here, it'll uh, 
loosen up i don't know bro honestly nah dude this thing is just not accepting access denied on my controller let me try a different one nah this thing just does not want to take what is, what is i don't do I force it in i can't even force it in dude all right i'm gonna chalk this one up as works but needs some kind of cleaning diagnosis or something i just don't want to spend too much time trying to plug the controller in it looks like it plays games though it's like it's reading the game so i'm gonna put this in the work section all right we have four xbox 360s and honestly by the way these things look i don't I, i'm not very hopeful that any of them gonna work but let's let's see because i stranger things have happened yeah, look, this thing doesn't even power on. It's plugged in, right? Hold on. Yeah, it's plugged in. This thing doesn't even power on. So there goes number one. All right, here we go with 360 number two. Just plug this in. Do you work? Not, did, wait, none of them. Did any of them even come, like, I'm, I don't know if it's my cord not working or if the consoles just straight up don't work, but let's try the next one. Okay, this one straight up just has like a little sticker on the top that says parts. So I'm not even gonna bother plugging the controller in because yeah, look at that. Doesn't power on as well. Hmm. This one actually threw me off. I thought all Xbox 360s had uh, HDMI, but this one was uh, AV cord only. Very strange, but anyways, uh, also does not power on. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get another power cord just to see if, my, make sure mine's is actually working. My phone actually started to die, so I had to put it on a charger, but it doesn't really matter anyways, cause none of those Xbox 360s work. I checked the new cords, nothing. Worst case scenario, I can sell the hard drives, or well, I'll test the hard drives on actual working 360s first. I'll test the hard drives and sell the ones that work. In the meantime though, we are gonna take these two batteries, put them in these two cameras and hope at at least one of them work i don't really remember how much they go for i think the nikon cool picks goes for like 30 to 40 and the olympus uh something what is this the vr 320 goes for like 40 to 50. either way we're up because of the ps2 anyways both of the ps2s i'm counting that other one as a win but let's test to see if these uh if this works all right battery is in <gasps> We have life. Is that time and date? No. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. This quality sucks though, not into it. Okay, that is one working camera in the books. Now let's check the Olympus VR320. Where's the power, there we go. Does it turn on? I don't think so. We are not as lucky with the VR320. Did I put the battery in backwards? Oh, there we go. I put the battery in backwards. Let's go. This thing like popped on immediately. Oh, Ooh, it's got sound effects. Ah, oh, there's like a little marking on the like. Well, not the. Oh, this looks. This one looks like night and day better than the other camera. Well, like, why is this one all super yellowed? This one looks so much better. But unfortunately, you can see right there. There's like, uh, like there. What is it called? I don't know. There's something wrong with the screen. The screen's kind of messed up. But it looks like the camera works fine. I'm gonna take that as a two for two W on the cameras. This one we're gonna have to list for a little bit less. But I mean, working is working, right? I'm hype, let's go. All right, so now we have three Wii's and honestly, I saved this console for last because I just didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> it's so annoying. You have these special exclusive wires. You got to make sure this is like synced up and you got to sync up the, I don't know, dude. Anyways, the light's on, it's plugged in, the light's on. Let's hit the eject button to see if we get a, anything? No. Oh, but it looks like it's turning on. Let's go. All right, I gotta sync the controller. Hold on. I think I did it. Wait, it, it says Super Mario Brothers. Is that in there? Oh, let's go! Super Mario Brothers Wii, baby. How do I use the controller? Am I too close? Oh, it was too close. There it goes. All right. 
everything is working good to go the we works baby all right here we go for we number two uh wait it looks like this one works <laughs> oh you know what i just realized i didn't test the last one to see if it played games but i i we're just gonna trust it does Oh, Wii Sports? Wii Sports is in there? <laughs> Let's go, baby! Two bangers after another. And it looks like everything is working fine, but this time I'm actually gonna double check to see if it works. Let's see if this new Super Mario Brothers Wii game we just got works. Let's go! Working, working, work. You know, this is actually the second Mario game I've ever played in my life. This, this is just like the OGs. Oh, dang, wrong way. Crap! All right, you got that. Okay, this one is a lot cleaner than the other two, so I'm really confident in us getting a three out of three on the Wii, so let's see how we do. Hey, yo, what's going on here? Hold on. It's telling me to press A already. Is there a game? In I think it's on autoplay on a game or something. Oh, no. Oh, it was just a fresh restart. Okay. No, I don't care about none of this, honestly. What, what, what's today? Hey, whoever I'm setting this up for, you better be very happy. Seriously? Leave me alone. Oh, my goodness. All right, fine. There you go. Whoever gets this console, you have my name. Oh, we got a Mario Kart. We got Mario Kart. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Let's test it and see if it works. Wait, how do you drive? I don't know. How do you do this? Oh. Oh, you have to use the, oh, this is the, hey, at least it works though. But what, come on, man. This is why I don't use these consoles. I'm, I'm too old for this. Oh, let's hold that. Oh, I'm smashing, I'm about to, I'm thrashing all of y'all. I'm finna get a dub, bro. Hold on. I'm really about to win right now. I am him. Nope, nope. Don't even think of, nope. Don't even think about it. Don't, wait, how did that, what happened? What happened? What happened? I'm him, bro. How is he drifting? Oh my God, past you, even though you're drifting. I'm through there. How do you drift? Oh my goodness. How do you? What's the drift button? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. We are three for three on the Wii's and got three banging games. Let's go. Now, the last system for me to test is this N64. And unfortunately, N64s automatically recognize when there's no controllers attached. And I don't have a controller. So I'm just going to see. We're just going to see what happens. I'm going to pop in Pokemon Snap, which is an OG banger, and see if we could at least get some life out of it, which we do but nothing on the screen. Maybe it's a Pokemon snap issue. Let me try to clean my pens. Some rubbing alcohol, Q-tip to clean both the top and the bottom side of the pens. Only wet one side though, so that you can use the other side to dry it off. All right, let's try this again. Turn it on. No life. Nobody is home. Decide to try Torok just to see if it'll work. Let's see, anything? No life. So at the end of it all, we ended up with all of the Xbox 360s not working, both of the PS3s not working, although this one is kind of questionable, dude. I don't know, like, it came on, it seemed like it would work fine, but there was just no video. And then we have the same exact problem with the N64. I kind of want to open up the N64 because I know how to do that and just look around. Maybe something just needs cleaning. So I haven't 100% given up on this yet. Definitely these, I'm think I'm just going to take all of these to the swap. That's what I normally do. There's a swap swap meet that I go to once a month where I set up a table and sell things. So I'll probably sell, honestly, the 360s for like $10 a pop and these two consoles for like $20 a pop. And this right here will get
give me back my money plus profit. And speaking of profit, we got all the working consoles down here. Three Wii's all worked. That both of the cameras worked, although this one has a very questionable screen. It was all yellowed and stuff. Both the PS2s work, although one of this one definitely did because this one is way more scuzzy than this one. There's some type of issue with the controller slot. I don't know. I really need to figure that out. But, you know, the both of the PS2s work. And then we got four extra goodies that we wasn't even expecting. All in all, this wasn't a major disappointment. I'm happy with the outcome. This is going to give me some good amount of profit. And these can also potentially turn into profit for me as well. Now, I have to get all the scuzzy off these consoles, take pictures, and get them listed. So I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. <laughs> Yo, so I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I'm packing everything up. Put y'all seats off the table, putting stuff away. I pick up the N64, right? Remember we was looking at it. It wasn't working for whatever reason. It wasn't turning on. I decide for whatever reason to pop this thing. It doesn't have a RAM. Hold on, we're gonna try this again. We got the Ram Expander. We're giving it the deluxe treatment. You better work for me. All right, so I'm not gonna do the whole setup again. We're just gonna have to whoop whoop. All right, we got our Pokemon Snap. Pop that in, turn it on. Dang, still nothing.